Long live the king. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again. So in today's video, I got some brand news for Godzilla vs. Kong. So it looks like that Playmates has officially released some more new official toy figures for Godzilla vs. Kong. Username SB underscore toys is the one that released these pictures on his Instagram. And as you guys can see, these are the same leaked toy figures that we've seen a while back. And as you guys can see, our very first toy figure is the skull crawler. And as you guys look at this figure, definitely a whole lot more different compared to the one from Skull Island. It also looks like that part of his skin has changed to red. There's also a new vehicle that comes with this figure and it's called a Hev. And the skull crawler looks like it also has some battle damage that's also revealed. But for the most part, I really do like this new design for the skull crawler. Our next figure that we have here is Godzilla with the radio tower. You can also see the radio tower that's right next to Godzilla and then right below that is some more battle damage that's revealed around Godzilla's chest. And pretty much for the most part one version of Godzilla that we'll be having is Godzilla with the radio tower. The other one's going to be Godzilla with the atomic breath. And I'm not going to lie either but I really do like the Godzilla toy figure with the atomic breath. I just really like the amount of detail that's shown on this figure and I really like the dorsal fence overall. It just looks really cool. Now in these photo shoots, as you guys can see, this one shows Godzilla using his atomic breath against Kong, but it looks like Kong is defending himself with the battle axe against Godzilla's atomic breath. And since we know that Kong is intelligent, maybe that's how he figures out how to defend himself against Godzilla's atomic breath. But then again, it's just a photo shoot, so I don't even know if that actually happens in the movie, but if it does happen like that in the movie, then that's gonna be really cool to see how that's pulled off. This next picture here shows all the figures together, and what I really like about this picture the most is the size comparison between all three of them. Now, it looks like Kong is a lot more bigger and taller than the skull crawler, but if you also notice the comparison between Godzilla and the skull crawler, since they never encountered or interacted before, you know, it's really cool to see that the skull crawler is half the size of Godzilla. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I would love to see Godzilla fight the skull crawler. We never seen these two interact before, but it'd be really cool to see that happening in this movie. In this next picture, we see all the toy figures that have all the battle damage that's revealed. And based off this picture, it just seems like that this movie is going to be one crazy ass monster brawl fight. Adam Winger did say that this movie is going to have a lot of crazy things happening with all these monsters fighting for dominance. And based on the battle damage that's revealed, that's most likely where that all comes from. We also have another better shot of Kong with the battle axe. And even though this is still nothing too new, we can still confirm the fact that that has got to be Godzilla's dorsal fin because even for a toy figure, it does match those same colors. Godzilla, on the other hand, does look like he's going to be involved with some kind of radio tower, but I'm not entirely too sure either. It might just be like a little prop model just to go with the figure, but if not, then We'll have to see what the significance is with Godzilla in this radio tower. And other than that, guys, that is all that I have to share with you guys for today. Now, I really won't be surprised if they end up releasing the official images for Mechagodzilla and Azuki. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, please smash the like button, comment, subscribe, turn on that bell. And I'll see you guys the next time. Peace.